Hey Lions, how you guys doing? Welcome to your weekly love reading, November 19th to the 25th. Uh, before I get started, uh, I do have an announcement. I did launch a Patreon account, um, so please check that out, guys. I'm going to put it in all my descriptions moving forward, or at least the link anyway, so you guys can check it out. I have a lot more extra content there. Um, I think you guys will be really happy with it. Also, I'm considering doing a yearly forecast for all the signs, but it just depends on how much time I have like in the next couple weeks. So I'm going to try, I'm going to try to get started on that and see what I can make happen. Okay. Um, so for those of you new to my channel or new to Tarot, please know that these are very general messages for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So not all messages will resonate because messages come through for those who need to hear them. But sorry, I, I mumbled there. For those that need to hear them. Okay. So sometimes that's not the major collective. Sometimes it's a very small percentage of people. Okay. So if it doesn't resonate, sorry, it just wasn't your story. Okay. Please Please also know that um, uh, we're working with energy here, okay? So energy goes both ways. Messages can pertain to you or someone in your immediate environment that you basically interact with almost on a daily basis, um, or your partner could also allude to whatever's going on between you and your partner. Usually it's the partner. Um, <laughs> in my readings anyway, usually it's the partner. Sometimes family comes through, sometimes coworkers come through, but most of the time it's for the partner. Um, also know, guys, that, you know, the gender of the cards does not matter. Don't get hung up on the gender of the cards, okay? Um, everyone is masculine energy. Everyone is feminine energy. You know who you are in the story if this resonates with you, okay? All right, guys, I'm still getting through emails, too, so please, <laughs> please be patient with me. Please be very patient. Um, I'm getting through the comments as well. I, I spent, like, hours last night trying to get through the comments, and I, like, I made a big dent, but I still have a lot to go through, and I really like seeing how people have been helping each other out. I love that. I think... Excuse me. I swear to God, guys, I don't burp like this unless I'm doing readings. It's the weirdest thing, and I kind of don't like it, but it is what it is. Okay, anyway, let's get to the reading, right? Any messages for my lions, for my Leos in love, November 19th to the 25th? Any messages for my Leos in love? Oh, forgot to mention in the pre-shuffle, I saw the full card with the five of swords come out. So someone's psyching themselves out about taking a risk on something for sure i mean that came in really strong like there's a lot of fear there um but someone's psyching themselves out for sure all right leos any messages for my leos in love november 19th to the 25th any messages oh my hair's in my face any messages for my leos in love november 19th to the 25th all right let's get started let's see what we got here any messages for my leos in love november 19th to the 25th any messages for my Leos in love, November 19th to the 25th? Any messages for my Leos in love, November 19th to the 25th? I know, Leos, you guys have had kind of a rough go the last couple months. Any messages for my Leos in love, November 19th to the 25th? Any messages for my Leos in love, November 19th to the 25th? Any messages for my Leos in love, November 19th to the 25th? See what we got here oh yeah overall energy we got the six of swords this is a great sword card guys it's like one of my favorite swords a uh, sword card oh, jesus sword card in the deck and i'll tell you why because it's one of the few sword cards that is not full of of just pain really it's like this is calm someone's planning someone's kind of moving along like you know what i mean it's like someone's found their happy place in the midst of some crazy shit you know what I'm saying? And we have the Six of Cups. We have the Two of Swords in Reverse, okay? Definitely this is someone who is being very indecisive about something. Um, very indecisive. So let's clarify that. Clarify the Two of Swords in Reverse. Clarify the Two of Swords in Reverse for my Leos in Love. Oop. November 19th to the 25th. And of course, Six of Cups is like... You know, past life connection, soulmate connection, good memories, reminiscing. But there's something about reminiscing on the past that's making you indecisive, but it's also keeping you very calm, okay? Which is good. It's kind of weird that indecision would keep you calm, but maybe you're just like, no, I'm cool, I'm chilling. I've, like, I'm in a happy place, I found my peace, I'm just kind of moseying along. <laughs> like, you're not really stuck, it's just you're, you're intentionally choosing not to make a choice about something. Clarify two of swords in reverse. Clarify two of swords in reverse for my Leos in love. December. I don't know why I said December. Maybe you guys are going to decide in December. I don't know. November 19th to the 25th. 
November 19th to the 25th. <laughs> Clarify Two of Swords in Reverse. Oh, that wanted to be out here. Okay. Clarify Two of Swords in Reverse. Got two cards so far, clarifying it. Clarify Two of Swords in Reverse. Clarify Two of Swords in Reverse for my Lions in Love, December 19th to the 25th. Clarify Two of Swords in Reverse. Clarify Two of Swords in Reverse. Okay. Interesting. Oh, got the Ten of Swords, too. Lots of swords, guys. Lots of swords, Leos. What the hell? Oh, yeah. What the hell? Dealing with some air signs. Dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, maybe. Maybe you have that in your chart. So you have seven cards that came out to clarify the Two of Swords in reverse. Overall energy. We have the Five of Pentacles. This is someone who's kind of in isolation right now. Um, but it's it's weird. I'm kind of feeling like this person, whoever's feeling this, whoever's in this indecision because they're they're kind of just staying isolated. It's very intentional. It's almost hermit-like, but I don't see the hermit card here. Um, it's almost like some people are seeing you as someone who's been abandoned as well. But you guys are chilling. You guys are kind of okay with what's going on right now. So that's very interesting. So let's see what you're choosing not to decide on, okay? <laughs> so this first line... We have the Page of Wands in reverse, fire energy, fire energy and earth energy. We have the Ten of Swords upright, and then we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so betrayal. Betrayal. Getting betrayal really strong. Um, it's almost like you're choosing not to talk about something. Like, you're kind of like, yeah, that shit happened, but it happened. It's in the past, and I'm just going to chill and do my own thing. I don't have to talk about this. But I feel like, I almost feel like external pressure to, oh, oops. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Didn't realize I was out of focus for so long. Um, but it's almost like outside pressure. Like, this feels really weird. It, I don't know why it keeps doing that. Okay, anyway. <clears throat> And I, that's also as picking up with this Five of Pentacles, right? Like, this is how people are seeing you as if you're abandoned, but I don't think you feel abandoned. I think you just feel like you're you're just kind of in your own little bubble right now, and you're very happy with that. But it feel, I'm feeling like you're getting pressured to talk about something, something that happened, um, something regarding a betrayal, and you're just like, eh. And there's this new beginning on the board, Okay. But it's in reverse, so it's being missed. It's like a missed opportunity. So yeah, you're refusing to talk about something that ended, something that was that was very much felt like a betrayal to you, felt like um, like someone just did you wrong. Someone did you wrong, and you know it, but you've moved past it. But it almost seems like other people haven't. Like your you know your surrounding people, your family, your friends. I just keep getting external pressure, external pressure. And it's like, it's it's kind of bugging you guys. And I'm like, I'm feeling agitated by it. Um, oh, this is interesting. So there was a betrayal. There was an ending of something that someone's wanting you to talk about and you're not wanting to talk about it. But then there's this beginning here that you're refusing to decide on. Almost like you're letting this opportunity pass intentionally. But you know what? If you know the opportunity is not good for you, then you know. Um... And given the sense of external pressure I'm sensing, it's almost like you kind of know you shouldn't take it. So me, okay, okay. So for some of you, you're having someone trying to trying to come back, trying to creep in back into your life that really betrayed you, really, really hurt you. And you've kind of already moved past them, but they're trying really hard to give you this new beginning, but you're going to just let it pass. You're like, I don't really need that. And everyone and people around you are like, no, 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 go for it. You're like, no. I don't, I don't need to. I really don't need to. I am perfectly fine. I am okay. I am a-okay. Don't even worry about it. Now, this last line, we have the Seven of Swords, the Deceit card. Everyone knows that's a Deceit card, right? We have the Ace of Swords in reverse, Lack of Clarity, the Magician in reverse. Again, the, not again. I don't know why I say again. I say that a lot. Sorry. This is a trickster, right? Trickster in your midst. Usually, for me, it's just someone who's trying really hard to manifest but can't. But in this situation, it feels very trickstery. It feels like someone's trying to, like, just pull, like, pull, what's the word? What's the, not the word, the phrase. Pull the wool over your eyes, right? <clears throat> this is also 
um, my Divine Masculine card and my Scorpio card. It, it's usually indicative of Aquarius and Gemini explicitly, like that's the traditional indication, but for me as a reader, it's a Scorpio card. I'm just saying in case you're dealing with a Gemini or Aquarius. Um, and then, you know, the Six of Six of Wands in reverse, this is failure, right? Lack of recognition. Lack of recognition. Yeah, it's almost like... <sighs> yeah. Someone wants you to forget that you've been deceived. <laughs> and I laugh because it's like, you want me to just forget that that happened? You just want me to forget that you did this shit? Whatever it was. And we'll clarify the Seven of Swords. I'm really curious. Um, but yeah, it's like... Yeah, they want you to totally forget about all this deceit, all the lies, all the lack of clarity, all the trickery, all of that. They want you to forget all of it. That's this lack of recognition, right? They're like, no, please don't look at this. Don't recognize this. Don't look at all this shit that happened because it was bad. But you already know. So it's like, no, I'm very aware and I'm not going to forget about that shit, right? Very aware and I'm not going to forget about it. Now, I do have my Vice Versa deck. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited to use it. Can't wait. Okay. Um, I want to clarify the Seven of Swords here. So with this Vice Versa deck, I will say, guys, I'm still learning it. The thing that's very different about this deck compared to other tarot decks is that it has literally double the meanings, okay? Because it's, it's Vice Versa, right? So for example, if you've never seen this deck, this is the World card. This is one side of it. That's another side, very, two very different meanings, okay? And every card is like that. I know, I love it, I'm so excited. Um, what was I saying? Sorry, I got a little ADD for a second. Um, so we're gonna clarify the Seven of Swords, but because I'm still learning it, I might have to get the book out if it's one I haven't studied yet, okay? I just couldn't wait to use it for you guys. I've been waiting for it for so long and you guys paid for it, so I'm like, yeah. Let's, do, let's just do it, let's just break it out. Nothing wrong with having to look stuff up every once in a while. That's how you learn. Okay. Clarify the Seven of Swords. They're also really hard to shuffle. Like, let me show you how, like, strong these are. It's like, they don't bend very well compared to the other decks. So the first time I tried shuffling it, I swear to God, I almost gave myself a hand cramp. Clarify Seven of Swords. Clarify Seven of Swords for my Leos. Clarify Seven of Swords. For my Leos. Now again, this could be, you know, someone you've been dealing with, but I really feel like this is all you guys. I don't even see another person, really, except for this magician character, but I don't even feel like they're very present in your life. Like, I don't even think, um, I don't even think you think about them that often, to be honest with you. Clarify Seven of Swords, because you're just, you are chilling. You're chilling like a villain. Clarify Seven of Swords, but you're not the villain here, trust me. <laughs> Whoever this is resonating for, whoever's chilling, you are not the villain, but you're chilling like a villain. Anyway, clarify Seven of Swords. Okay, let's see what this deck has to say. And they're very slippery too, so I gotta be careful when I handle them. Clarify Seven of Swords. Ooh. Clarify Seven of Swords. Clarify Seven of Swords for my Leos in love, December 19th to the 25th. Clarify Seven of Swords. Okay. Let me lay these cards out first. Oh. Oh. Got the Six of Cups again. Oh, yeah, you know. You're like, no, I definitely don't need to be dealing with this person. You know. All right, so overall energy, we have the Eight of Swords. So this is the side that, that um, is being presented in the reading. This is the other side. I just, you know, I'm just showing you guys for fun. So this Eight of Swords, this is indicative of, um, of yes, you're, tr you, you know, you're kind of stuck in these, like, these negative feelings around this deceit, but you know how to get yourself out. You're just, like, you're trying. You're trying really hard. That's why one side has the eagle and the other one doesn't, right? Um, also, you can see in this version, other than this one, that, you can see how she's bound. She's bound by her own doing, bound by her own sword, right? And actually, it, I don't know why I said you. This is not for the person who's chilling. This is the person who did this to you, okay? They know they did trickery. They know they did deceit. And they're kind of, they, they put themselves in a, themselves in a self-imposed prison of their own making, of their own torturous making, okay? But with that eagle, they now have the wisdom to get themselves out of it, okay? Now we have one, two, three, four, five. We have six cards that came out. I'll show them to you one by one and I'll tell you what I think is going on. So we have the King of Swords. 
we have uh, the Wheel of Fortune, Six of Cups. I know they're very visually awesome, right? Five of Pentacles, again, a repeat. And this is, is this the Knight or the Knave? I believe this is the, this is the side that came out. This is the Knave. I will double check when we go through them, but I'm pretty sure that's the Knave. And then we have the Queen of Cups. All right, this is your energy, guys. Letting you just know, this is your energy, Leos. And you could be a Cusper, could be a Cancer Leo Cusper. Okay, now let's address this King of Swords. This is Aquarian energy. This is the this is the court card for Aquarius. I don't know why that was so hard to say. <laughs> Sorry, maybe it's because it's Mercury retrograde is tomorrow, and I'm like, wow, I can't even get my words out. Anyway, uh, there's also a double air cards. So you could have air in your chart, or your partner could have a lot of air in their chart. You see how his back is turned and there's all that lightning in the back and that he's looking at. This is the other side. This is the side that um, your your person is is kind of taking on here. Very emotionally detached, very narcissistic, very full of it. OK, very egocentric. OK, um, someone who really doesn't know how to communicate effectively, does not know how, does not. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. This is the negative side. This is the this is the good side, okay? Wheel of Fortune in the negative. This is like this is something that does need closure, but it's not up to you to make this closure happen. This is for this person, okay? They need to close out their own negative shit, their own negative cycle that they put themselves in, okay? Not you. Now six of cups. This is the other side. This is the side that came out, okay? So yeah, you're definitely dealing with someone from your, this is someone they have a long history with, a long past with. And again, it could have been a soulmate connection. You see how she's in the water and he's just like, hey. Oh, hi there. So yeah, he's like, they're trying to come back to bring this offer to you. But you see how separate they are? They're not even on the same level. You know what I'm saying? They're not equals. And I almost feel like she needs rescuing a little bit. I'm not saying any of you need rescuing. That's not what I'm saying. It's like. Hey, did you toss me in the water? What the hell? Can you help me out? No, but hello. Bye. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, it doesn't feel like an awesome Six of Cups card. It's like, it's someone that's not on your same level, okay? Regardless of who you are in the situation. You guys just, you're not equals. You're not. And I really feel like this person who did this trickery has a lot of growing to do and a lot of baggage. Like, a lot. A lot of baggage. Now we have the Five of Pentacles here. This is the side that came out. This is the other side. Now with this Five of Pentacles, it's interesting because this person's actually inside the church. This person's outside the church, but you see how different their expressions are? Let's see if I can get that closer. Like he's pretty chilling, right? It's like, yeah, he's outside. He might even be homeless, but he's kind of content. But this person inside is like, ah, because <laughs> remember, guys, you guys are in isolation right now and you guys are totally OK with that. You're fine with that, just like the guy on this side. But that's not the side that came out. This side came out for the person that is who was up to no good. All right. Sure. They're inside. They might even, you know, be having um, like friends over and living their life, but they're miserable. They are so miserable, even though they're on the inside and you're on the outside. It's like, you're like, yeah, mm, yeah, it's a little cold, but whatever. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm just in my boat rowing along. Look at the pretty scenery, whatever. Uh, now this Knave of Swords, let me clarify it. Let me just make sure that this is actually, oops, wrong book, that this is the Knave of Swords and not the Knight. Chalices. Yes, this is the Knave of Swords. Okay. I'll read the description to you, just, uh, just in case you guys are curious. I feel like some of you guys are, so I'm just going to read it. When we aren't able to see his aggressive facial expression... Oh, let me hold it up while I read it. You guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, his aggressive facial expression, the knave seems slight and easily blown off course. His grip on the sword seems defensive, even, even desperate. The landscape below can be seen more clearly as ice and snow beginning to melt here and there. Dark clouds approach to blot out the blue sky. This is a person who worries about being able to cope, to keep up with those he admires and wants to learn from. He's almost ready to ask for help, but requires patience and guidance to find a safe landing spot. Oh, and I just realized I was going like this, but anyway. 
So yeah, this is someone who really needs help. <laughs> this is someone who needs help. This is someone who, um, again, it's like they they need help because they can't communicate and they don't know how to get shit done, right? I feel like this person actually likes to have a lot of drama around them. It's like you see like that environment and those clouds and the wind factor. This person likes the drama, but it's toxic right it's like and it's probably made them a very toxic person which is why they had to be a trickster um and they don't want you to like even recognize that which is just which is so crazy to me and then you guys are taking on the queen of cups energy this is the other side but this is the side that came out in your reading okay you have your back turned you're like nope I'm healing. And that's exactly what this card means in this position in this deck is that you are a person who has a lot of love to give, but someone did you wrong. So you have your back turned and you're doing your own shit in the dark of night, right? Because day, night, and you are healing. Okay, you're healing, you're you're replenishing your cup of love. Okay, which is great. Um, but that's what this deceit did. It's like, they, it made them realize what a horrible person they are and how awful they treated you and that they, you know, they're going crazy without you. But it's that narcissistic kind of um, missing you. It's like they don't really miss you. They just miss your, your presence. They just miss all the stuff that you do for them. You know what I'm saying? And you're just like, nope, I'm done. I'm donezo. Bye. Oh, wait, donezo. <laughs> yeah, that was a label for one of your readings, wasn't it? Um, but yeah, you guys are just chilling. It seems like you guys are still just very, 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 very very mellowed out so let's clarify the six of swords even though it's an overall energy let's clarify it because let's see what you guys are working on okay clarify the six of swords for my leos in love december 19th to the 25th clarify six of swords for my leos in love december 19th to the 25th Five, six of swords. yeah you guys are single like this is feels very much like a single reading singles reading excuse me clarify six of swords for my leos in love clarify six of swords for my leos in love december 19th to the 25th Let's see what's going on Clarify Six of Swords for my Leos in love, December 19th to the 25th. Clarify Six of Swords for my Leos in love, December 19th to the 25th. Clarify Six of Swords. All right, so I got two cards that came out. Oh, I love it. Oh my God, that's awesome. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll show you guys. Overall energy, we have Knight of Swords in reverse. This is the Gemini card. Um, yeah, there's air all over your reading. I'm just letting you guys know. A lot of air. There's some water. The tiniest bit of earth. But yeah, it's most it's mostly air. And oh yeah, and then there's some fire, but mostly air. It's mostly air. And you have two Gemini cards out here. Anyway. So yeah, Gemini card could be any fire sign, any air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Leo, uh, Sag, Aries. Um, this is someone who's not coming forward in communication. And it's like, it's with this person. That's really what it is. It's like, you're not coming forward to talk to them. Why? Because you're chilling like a villain. Why? Because you have all of this. You have full self-love, self-fulfillment. All right. You have your wish come true. You have love in your home environment and your life and your family. And yeah, you might be single, but you are so happy. <laughs> You are so happy and so full of love that you're like, I don't need you. Get away from me. Get a get away from me. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it. Um, and again, this could always be vice versa, especially if um, um, for cross watchers, if you're the Gemini, right? It's like you guys are the ones that could be chilling like a villain and have happiness. And the Leo could be the one who um, is trying to come back and you've decided no. Um, so you know what I mean? It's like it could always go both ways. But yeah, chilling like a villain. Why? Because you have the nine and ten of cups. <laughs> Both at the same time. That's that's really cool, guys. All right, Leo. So that was your reading for the week of November 19th to the 25th. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely did. Um, and I'm really happy for you guys. Good for you. Really, really good for you. Um, and for those that this didn't resonate with, sorry. Like I said, guys, messages come through for those that need to hear them. Sometimes it's not the major collective. Um just says what it is, all right? So don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And also don't forget to check out Patreon. 
I'm still uploading a lot of content uh, for the, I have two tiers right now for the top tier. Videos are loaded and I'm still continuing to up, continuing to upload for the rest of the week. Um, for the base tier, the videos are really long for the base tier because there's a lot less videos for the base tier, but they're each an hour long. Okay, so it's taken a lot of time to upload, but there should be two uploaded right now and I'm going to try to upload two more today. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.